Well, the Empire, everybody, this is Rampane, and welcome back to my Moral One Let's Play. We're going to continue with the last time. So, I want to do a few more things in the Skull Village, and then I think I actually, like, I think we can probably leave Solstein now. I think I've spent a decent amount of time here. Um, technically, we were supposed to try and find out what happened to the captain. I still don't know what's going on with him, um, but I want to try and at least look around and figure out what's going on with uh, this crime that we got. So, Eggnog Iceman has been accused of theft, so let's go into his, let's go into his house. So Iceman was right. This area is the house. Uh, Iceman, sorry. So let's try and talk to him, figure out what's going on, and try and make some sort of judgment. I can't see. Um, Greasy Iceman. Is there something else? Mm -hmm. Just you. Well, let's try and talk to you. Uh, you're the one who's to investigate the crime that has been blamed on my husband. How may I help you? Um, let's see, Inger would never do such a thing as this. He's a man of honor, and he want we want nothing. We want for nothing. Um, I cannot imagine what would drive him to make such an accusation. Oh, uh, Rig won't make an accusation. Perhaps he is jealous of my husband, and these charges are meant to disgrace him. So, we told me that she's not believe that she's jealous of her husband. Um, okay, so let's try and talk to him now. Uh, depends on where the hell he is. Last year's house. Shaman's hut. White beard. Do you have anything to do? That's a present to you guys. That's cool. Um, Ice Pain. Uh, he's a valiant warrior and no thief. Any spell can tell you that. Any one who's a different liar. He's always going to brave and true. And you're going to this crime. Okay. Also, uh, I still need to ask. Um, you don't. I can't ask you about the captain. So far, a lot of people say that he's very honorable and he would not do such a thing. You're just an honor guard, so I don't think you're actually have much to say. No, you said the same thing. Um, honor guard. What do you have to say about this whole thing? Uh, yes, uh, I'm asking about the crime. Um, I know what I'm accused of, and I know that it is a lie. I need a need for the first of your half hand. I'm just going to worry. Am I honor or not? But, and my honor and the honor of the skull on my life, I know it's just as dignity. So I have no quarrel with him until this day. I thought him a friend to my family, to my wife. We see Ice Man, especially while I was on the hunt. He was known to keep counsel with her and others who remained to the village. And now this is from... Oh, I think I have an idea what's going on here. Um, maybe the dude kind of liked his wife. And was like, hey, can you uh, get rid of the husband so I can try and go after them? Uh, yes, I understand you were investigating Agner Iceman's theft, a terrible thing, um, but you were sent to investigate a crime. What can I do for you? I'm trying to investigate it. Uh, I can't understand why he would do such a thing. We just call and give to each other according to the need. And he prefers why they provided, but instead he stole them from my home. It's difficult to explain. His lovely wife, who will be left all alone. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. What do you have to say about her? A beautiful woman deserving of better than her husband. Were I her mate, she would lead a much better life. Uh, I kind of have an idea, I think, what's going on here. Um, I don't have any proof of it, but... I'm trying to see if there's a, anything in here, maybe... Let's see, because maybe there's something around his house. Or can I just make my judgment and say, hey, it kind of sounds like Rigmore is just trying to get rid of him to get to his wife. Because honestly, that's what it sounds like to me. Everybody keeps saying he's a very honorable man and that he would not do such a thing. What do you have to say about him? Um, yep, he's a valiant warrior. Actually, wait, what about if I ask about the wife? Does she show up on here? She's a good woman, the wife of the English. I just don't have any evidence for my claim. Uh, because they wanted me to try and see. Bring him proof. Bring him proof. Uh, I don't know where the proof is going to be, because I'm pretty sure that's what's going on, but... Because... I don't see anything going on with this house. I'm just going to walk on top of your ceiling, on top of your uh, roof. Um... Actually, oh, that looked like a perfect. 
Let's see, do I have anything? As he's always been a valued member of the Skull, but he's not a caring man. He leaves his lovely wife for weeks at a time while on the hunt. He probably stole my furs because he wasn't able to provide enough furs for his family. Such a sad story. Yes, that is obviously what's going on here. Uh... Kind of, I don't know if anything might be to incriminate him. Can I ask you guys also about Half Hand? Like me, for instance. He's a clever one. He's wise and crafty. Perhaps for this, he is not a light. Still, he's of the skull, and we must make his accusations seriously. Okay, let me see if I can just tell them. Hey, it seems like this guy is being a crafty bitch. I don't have any <laughs> evidence that he's just trying to get rid of him for his wife. Um, we were to investigate the crime. Have you done this? Come to me when you have more information, bro. See, the matter is a serious one, and you'll need to proceed until the picks have been discovered. I know he's guilty, <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out how to incriminate him, and I just can't find anything. Was there maybe supposed to be something in the house that he left back? Okay, I need to actually put light on so I can fucking see. Is there? Did he maybe, did he maybe leave something in here? Oh. Uh, dearest Rissi, will you not see me? You know I feel I'm not understand about me. Perhaps simply like consent to speak to me, just a word moment with you, ease my soul. If I can help you with you, I'll just order something drastic. Please consider your feelings, your husband is allowed. Wait for weeks at a time with no consideration for your needs. Yep. <laughs> just as I thought. Uh, I'm gonna hope that you haven't... Uh, can I talk to you about this letter? Well, actually, what do you think about it? I found the letter, have you not? It is true that we're gonna have a brief affair, but that has ended. If you just let me go, though I fear that he has caused this trouble, just to get rid of Ignar. You must put a stop to this man as a good man, does not deserve this fate. Ah, uh, something true. Okay, so she's not. I should speak with. Uh, ah, let's go back to Rigmon. See what he thinks about this. It's like, yeah, dude, I kind of found out that you were sleeping with his wife. Kind of like an asshole. Um, let's see. Is there a letter? No, I don't see a letter. But I'll probably bring her up. No. You, no. Um, investigating the crime. Uh, you found that letter, but why would this is an outrage? I, I never. I only wanted the woman. Why did that fool have to choose the wolves? He could have simply left, and she and I could have been together forever. You know my crime, and I know you must tell Hartfang. Just let, uh, let us go to him, and I will accept my fate. No, oh, actually more honorable than I was expecting to be, honestly. But then again, I guess the skull are supposed to be pretty honorable. So yes, I have investigated the crime. So half has intervened, uh, invented this tale of death over a woman. By the maker, this will not go unpunished by skull tradition. Making a false accusation carries the same penalty as the crime that is claimed. In this case, either exile or death by sacrifice to the wolves. The verdict is yours to decide. I think... I don't think this deserves sacrifice to the wolves. Maybe it does. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see something. What do you think, good sir? What do you think about the situation, um, knowing that he was sleeping with your wife? <laughs> there is no reason he's dead to this call. Okay, she's made mistakes, but she's a good woman. I need to pay more attention to her. Unless she's stray again. I do not blame her for this, though. I blame this situation on half hand. So he thinks he is dead to the skull. Let's let's feed him to the wolves. That's kind of what it feels like he would want. I'll, I'll go with that. I'm kind of leaving it up to his decision. Um, verdict is yours to decide. Uh, feed him to the wolves. To the wolves, then. You have shown mercy to Rosie Hotel, allow him to die with his honor. Perhaps you have some wisdom after all. Lead the prisoner outside, and he may accept his sentence. The, sh uh, the shaman will summon the Kilorn uh, to perform their function, but first accept this token. It is unlikely, but perhaps you too can be more like the wolves we revere. Helm of the Wolf's Heart. Ooh. It's a light armor. Fortified jelly sneak. Okay, well, let's get out of here, man. Um, let's 
Do we lead you out? Where do we lead you to? I have to lead him outside so he may accept his sentence. Did I just talk to you again? I have nothing to say. My time is done. Oh, he's just walking our way now on his own. Oh, he's just gonna... Oh, okay. Just walk into the pen with the wolves. Well, he's at least gonna try fighting. Is he gonna be able to take out at least a wolf? value on him, really? No. Oh, and there they go. Okay, then. Okay, so what we're going to do, I think, is let us go back to Fort Frostmoth. Um, well, actually, one thing. I don't, I feel bad, but I'm, I'm honestly, I'm curious, like, what the hell, how do I actually continue the storyline that was started in Fort Frostmoth up here? Because I don't know, so I'm going to try and, I'm going to quickly look that up, figure out what I'm supposed to do, and then I think we'll probably be going back down to Fort Frostmoth. I want to drop off all this armor and all this crap that we've got um, in my little storage chest area that I've got down there before I head out. Because I want to finish, for sure, the stuff in Raven Rock. Um, I want to complete that storyline because uh, it looks like that's a good way to make money from the... Where is it? Like the stock stuff got? Yeah, the stock certificate, uh, certificate. It looks like that's a great way to make money, um, possibly. So I want to finish that for sure, and I think that's what we're going to do. That's where we're going to leave Solstein. Because we've actually done a lot here, honestly. Then we need to get back to Vardenfell, and... Oh god, what was I doing? <laughs> it's been so long, I forgot what the hell I was doing in Vardenfell. I think I wanted to do Telvanni stuff. I think I wanted to do some Telvanni stuff. Try and rank up a little bit with them. And then I wanted to continue focusing on the main storyline. Because we've already done all the Imperial stuff. I haven't done any house stuff. Um, no real. I don't feel I have a huge desire to do a lot of stuff for the Mages Guild or the Fighters Guild. Uh, well, Fighters Guild maybe, but so let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into how am I supposed to find out about Caius or whatever his name was, and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so it's actually that uh, they don't actually have any more information. So actually, I'm supposed to go back to Fort Rossmoss and let them know that I wasn't able to find anything, and that's supposed to continue the quest line. So I'm going to walk all the way back to Fort Rossmoss, and I'll come back to you guys after I've dropped off all those items in that uh, little storage area. Okay, dropped off all that stuff now. It's going to be a real fun problem getting that all back to Mar Var uh, Vardenville. So I need to now find the person that initially sent me out... She's in here. Yeah, she's right over here. So I think I need to talk to you. Yes. Did you were you able to find the captain? Did those Norse have to say? Uh, they don't know anything. I doubt that. You'll need to get closer. They're a cagey bunch. Go level among them. See what they can learn. Then you have to stick with them for a long time. Uh, but you're up to it. I'll take care of things here. You can keep an eye on those Norse and get back to them. Okay. Well, I already did quite a decent amount of stuff with them. Um, you know nothing about the attack. Turn, earn the trials, and continue to live among them. Give them time on my pill to find out what happened to them. I, I guess we're. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, but no, now let's actually go back to Raven Rock. Let's continue. Let's see if now that I've healed the land, if maybe I can try and um, get rid of that dude. Maybe, maybe make it so that we can deal with that guy and. Uh, not have to kill him? Oh, actually, wait, before we go over there, let me grab that pick again, because I want to grab that ebony ore, because that's going to be very uh, valuable if I can grab a bunch of that. Where to? There's the pick. Grab the mining pick, and I'll keep carrying that with me for now. Um, but I'll see you guys in our, well, Raven Rock, and then we'll try and see if we can deal with this in a peaceful manner. Okay, now we're back, and let's see if you have anything else to say. No. <laughs> you have nothing else to say. Okay, well, I guess uh, I have to go with the violence. Um, let's see. Uh, everything is on hold while he's blocking the door. We need to get rid of him. Is he really that stubborn? Fine, I'll have to do... Uh, I, have time. I don't have time for this. We need to get in there and finish our work. You have my provision to rub him up a little bit. Bare fists only, no weapons, no spells. Are we clear? I want him to understand that he's not welcome here. I don't want him dead. 
Okay, that's good enough. Uh, you're very good with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, what, you're kidding me, right? You honestly don't know how to throw a punch? Well, that certainly doesn't speak very highly of you down, does it? Uh, go learn something about it. Why don't you? Or use some sort of magic shenanigans to help yourself out. Really, I'm not here to hold your hand. Take some initiative to receive. <laughs> Damn it, you're brutal. Um, but yeah, no, because... Um, what is my hand-to-hand -hand skill? Uh, 11. <laughs> oh, God. Um, okay, if we're not roughing them up, um, at least have, that's only 5, 20 points. Sure. Let's do this. Quick save and let me unequip my sword. Not my sword, my mace. I was using this for a while to try and, uh, upgrade my blunt weapons. But, um, okay, so let's see. <laughs> Gonna get into a fist fight. So let's activate this, see if we can just spam it to get a bunch of strength. One point. Okay, so it doesn't actually improve more than that. So, um, let's rough them up. I can't hit him. This is a pathetic ass punch. Um, he's giving me permission to teach him a lesson, but I'm not allowed to use weapons or spells or hurt him in any way. Hopefully he'll get the points. Okay, how the fuck am I gonna beat the shit out of you? <laughs> My hand to hand combat it fucking sucks. It absolutely fucking sucks. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get rid of you. I am a weakling! I can't hit you. Like, seriously? Is it just my luck is so bad to hit? Eh. 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 Can I just kill him, please, for the love of God? Can I please just kill him? My character is not a melee fighter. Like, I'm trying to punch him, and it's just not working. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill you. I'm just gonna straight up kill you. I'm sick of this. I can't hit you. Wait, why can't I even hit you? Oh, there we go. No, my hit chance to hit was just horrible. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I was not expecting that. Uh, the assignment, uh, yes. Um, did you get rid of him? Uh, I didn't want him dead! <laughs> did I give you orders to kill him? No. Do you have some sort of problem following orders? Clearly I can't trust you uh, to do what's asked of you, or you're not concerned with what uh, Carnius wants with the uh, welfare of the colony. Boss, too late now. Just get out of here. Go tell Carnius what happened. I'm sure he'll be delighted. Um, Carnius isn't here. Well, oh, sorry, Carnius Mangus. I keep getting them mixed up. He's at Fort Frostmoth, obviously. No, he's not. Okay, well, why did he go away in a blind? Okay, that's interesting. Um, so let's go. I'm gonna go back to Fort Frostmoth. I'll see you guys there. Fort Frostmoth once again. Hopefully you guys don't mind that I'm kind of jumping around a little bit more with this travel. We've kind of been all over these areas before, and unless there's something truly magnificent that I need to observe and show you guys, um, I'm just, I don't mind cutting it out too much. But let's tell you about what we happened, what happened. He's dead. Wonderful. <laughs> I'll send a message. Anyone who gets in the way of Ravenrock Project will suffer dearly. Excellent worth underling. Oh, don't worry about what Falco thinks. He just takes orders from me, you know. Okay, well, do you have any more assignments? Uh, there's no work for you right now. Check back in a few days. Okay, I guess I need to wait for the place to be built up again. Um, can I ask for an assignment, technically? Or does that just automatically happen? I mean, not assignment. Um, just ranking up. Okay, well. I'm assuming like three-ish days. 
Um, one thing I want to do, uh, I'm gonna check back, well, actually, because I don't have any things uh, in my inventory right now, let's go back up to um, Prothman's Bane. I want to grab that axe, and I just don't know why I wasn't able to grab it before. And also, we need to try and grab the um, amulet. There's supposed to be an amulet in there, and I just don't know where it is. So let's kind of go up there, see if there's anything of true interest up there. And then I'm going to stop by in um, Skull Village again, see if anything's happened or changed about um, the captain. If not, then I guess we'll wait a few days, try and talk to Carnius again. Um, but I'll see you guys at uh, Rosman's Bay. Okay, so now we're here, and let's try one more time to try and find that amulet. So it's supposed to be the Amulet of Infectious Charm, from what I've double-checked in the quest log while I was making my own way over here. And... Where? Oh, yeah, there's a drunker. Uh, wait, is there? Oh, there are multiple drunker. Eh. Wish I could fucking see! Do I have a light? Night eye, we can use that. Okay, let me try and fight these guys. Go to Gold Brand. Get the. Actually, do I just want to. Five seconds. Sure. That way I just resist all your spells. It'll be long enough to kill you. Okay, one more time. Get the sword out. Because I just do not want to have to be spending so much money on bearing crap. Okay, now you, I don't think, have that spell? No. There we go. Now we can actually try and explore. I still can't interact with that axe. I wonder if there's another quest or something that's related to that. Um, I don't know where it would be, though. How's the amulet? Oh, no, I can't see it again. Um, it's supposed to be in here from the quest log. Nothing on this corpse. It was on the draugr? I, I literally can't see. Um, I've got a lot of magic out. No. 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 Okay, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Let's get rid of your corpses. See a skull, a fancy skull. That's just a silver short sword. Can't do anything to that. Copper ring. I literally don't see anything. Oh come on, stop feeling the nice spell. I literally don't see anything in here. It's supposed to be in here from the, what the quest said. Give me a sec, I'm gonna look up where the fuck it's supposed to be. Oh, you sneaky motherfuckers, it's right here. I can barely, oh, you guys respond. I, I walked outside to make sure I was in the right area. But, okay, so it was just right there, my god. I was so close. Uh, okay, well, we've now got the stupid amulet. Let's go back to, um, let's go back to the Skull Village, see what they've got going on over there, and then, uh, I think they might have another quest, maybe. Because I never talked to them after I finished the stuff with the Judgment. So I'm gonna go, I'll meet you guys over in Skull Village and we'll see if they have anything for us. Okay, now we're back. Let's go check out, let's see, where's the hall again? Uh, here it is. Let's go see if they've got anything else for us to do because I know I did the Trial of Wisdom. Is there maybe anything more? Uh, you've done well, Drossi Mattel. You've shown your loyalty and wisdom, but there is one thing further I require of you. Now you must prove your strength as a warrior. Oh. I wish you to travel to Lake 
uh, Falgen, I will mark it on your map. Seek out uh, Korst Windai, who has traveled there already. He will give you further instruction. Look uh, further instructions. Look for him on the northern shore of the lake. Okay, he's a shaman. He should know how to steal his studies. Okay, so so there's the lake. Uh, Solstheim, time. The fortress in the end. Okay, so oh, it's okay. Delarkly south of us. It's actually next to Thirst. Um, so let's go down there and then see what's up. And actually, I'm gonna stop by in Thirst because I've. I never talked to them extensively to see if they had any quests, so let me see if they do. Because maybe... Because there's only... The, the only quests I've seen like I can find right now is related to Skull Village and Fort Frostmoth. But I, I, I would expect Thirst to have at least one. What the... Why is that flaming? Uh, so you said the Shaolin was going to be on the northern shore? Where is he? Um, let's see, I'd like me to travel to the lake and speak with him. Um, where is he? I'm at the lake, I just don't see him. I'm assuming it has to deal with that. Where is he? Oh, I think there he is. Yes. Hello. Ah, oh, you've arrived. These are strange times, my friend. I am unsure what magic is being worked to cause such a disturbance on the lake, but you were sent here to prove your strength. So what's going on with the lake? Fire from water, flame through ice. Strange indeed. Harfang believes that a Draugr lord who lives beneath the lake is the source of this, but I'm not certain. I fear this could be the sign of the Blood Moon Prophecy, and I pray to the Allmaker that this is not so. Blood Moon Prophecy. It is an ancient prophecy, one that I hope is just a myth. Um, it tells of a time when the moon will turn blood red and the wolves will walk like men. Um, we will walk the land. The prophecy tells of other signs that precede the blood moon, but they are not easily interpreted. Let us speak about this at another time. For now, prove your strength. Okay. Has sent you here to prove your strength, your ability to survive in the harshest of conditions. Beneath the lake, there's a series of caves. In one of those caves, you'll find um, Hislerf, uh, a drunker lord, and he believes he is responsible for disturbance. From what I have read in the histories, he was once a powerful mage who delved into necromancy. As a result of these dark magica, of this dark magics, he was made a draugr, but he retained most of his much of his immense power. He were to kill this creature and perhaps end its misery. Uh, in this madness, sorry. Uh, take care with this task. Trust him to tell the situation seems odd to me. Okay, let's just jump into the file. Jump into the file, wielding gold brand, charging on enemy. I mean, maybe I really should have actually grabbed. So literally, am I just? Uh... Oh, here it is. I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh Jesus! There's a lot of you guys. Fuck off! Fuck off! There's way too many of you for me to try and fight you one on one with your stupid crap. So let me just ignore you all, and let me just find the man, the myth, the legend that I'm trying to kill. Uh, health potion will take that. Uh, this is actually a dead end. Ow. You I can kill him. You're not gonna have anything special about you. It's just the Draugr. I do not want to fight the Draugr. Are you even? No, you're just a greater champion. Uh, I do want to play more though. Um, emotions. So it's just the champion. I don't think it's this one. I think it's maybe a different cave, because I think I already ran. Well, there's this way I can go. Here's the random skelly. I'm at least going to kill the Nordic skeleton warrior, guys. Especially because you guys have, uh, oh, just not your powers. Claymores were nice. Draugr, 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 random chest is gonna be worthless. Draugr, Draugr. Uh, oh, that's actually to the, oh wait, to his lair. Aha, this is what I want. Now where are you? Let's hope he doesn't have Draugr in here and it's just him. If it was just him, this should be easy. 
Where is he? I'm honestly just ignoring all those chests from now on. They're just worthless. They're just a waste of magic that I open them up. Ooh, what do you got? Bear shield, water and wolf boots, Lord mead, take the bone meal, and the gold. Oh, it didn't. There we go. And then barrel. Eh, amulet of health. Ooh, that'll be nice. It's a better version of the other amulet that I've got. And it's not worth enough for the care. We're at that point where I'm powerful enough and I'm rich enough that I don't have to care about every tiny little thing. I'm just getting one of those chests. Uh, I just wouldn't tell anybody. So, where is this lich? Where is this drover? Um. Let's see, you are brave or foolish to enter this place, Dark Elf? But I sense a bit of wisdom in you. Perhaps I might kill you where you stand. Were you to try and keep me from my task? But there are more dangerous things in these caves than this poor soul. Keeping you from your task. I have been in this cave for many centuries. The drawer you met in this place are not my kin. Mindless creatures, driven only by desire for living flesh. My story is quite different. I was once a mage of the people who call themselves the Skull. I was powerful, mortal, um... I was powerful mortal, perhaps powerful beyond their reckoning, but I strayed. I delved into the black arts, became uh, became learned in the ways of necromancy. When this was discovered, I was cast out by my people. Alone, I wandered this play to this place. Um, I continued to learn what I could of the ways of the living and the flesh and the energies that animate. I became a summoner. I communicated with the Daedra. It was then I learned of their uh, machinations, their plans to destroy my people. A group of Frost Daedra have taken up residence deep in the bowels of this island. Um, I thought at first that this was my doing, that I had somehow summoned these fiends, but they were beyond my abilities. I learned that they would wipe out this island clean of life, slaughter my people, and all we had held dear. I knew I must act. I tried to warn my people, but I was an empty voice to them, as, I th as though I were dead. So I used my magic to erect a barrier deep in this ice, strong enough to contain these Daedra and keep them from overrunning the island. The barrier held for years, I maintained it, but I grew old, and I knew that my death would mean the death of all life on Solstein. My life had to be extended, so I used my knowledge of the black arts and I turned myself into a creature you see before you. Draugr, eat your flesh, but my life was infinite. I could keep the barrier intact so that my people might survive, and know you now you appear to kill me, perhaps. You may have the power, but perhaps you have a greater purpose here. Um, fight with me, Dark Elf. Together we might vanquish these creatures, send them back to their unholy plane. I will lower the barrier, and we will cleanse the land of this scourge. I'm honor-bound to end your... I, okay, I'm here to prove my strength. If this is true... I see no reason why I should not aid him in destroying these creatures. If this is not true, and I help him kill the creatures, and he's still alive, I'll just kill him anyways. So let us destroy these creatures together. This is wise. I will lower the barrier that keeps the demons at bay. You and I will be victorious, as the lives of all those above are forfeit if we are not. This I could see as another way to prove my power. Okay, so you are... God damn it, okay. This is interesting. Um, let me actually... How long does this last again? 60 seconds. I'm gonna actually cast this to give myself a little bit more strength. And let's go! Where are... Oh, they're just frost astronauts. <laughs> they're just fucking frost astronauts. That's it. Dude, these things are weak as shit. Are you kidding me? Dire Frost action. I keep forgetting that Actronox are technically Daedra. Is he not going to help me? I get maybe I have to talk to him. Uh, let us continue. Okay, he's just kind of slow. I was expecting this to be harder. I was expecting some, like, actual... <laughs> Stronger danger than this, but if they are simply just frost after they can slaughter them. 
probably do a decent amount of damage, I guess, but I don't need his help. Uh, then where's my heal? Heal's right here. Heal up a little bit before I go in there. As I've got a lot of magic out to spend, I might as well keep upgrading my stuff. I guess this might be another way to improve my strength. If they really are like, hey, you shouldn't have done that, just kill him. I can try and slot him too. He shouldn't be too difficult, honestly. How many more are there? He's not even really doing much, is he? What does it say? Oh, geez. Okay, there's a lot of them. Are you going to help? Oh, God. That's a lot of them. Okay, then. Um... Jesus Christ. Okay. Um... I'm assuming I should just throw fireballs at their faces. Oh wait, did I just actually like intercept? Yeah, it did. Let's try and just do some damage here. As much magic as we can. And then I'll start hitting melee, because I'm absorbing a lot of attacks. Okay, if there's multiple of these, this is actually a challenge. Because if it's just a single astronaut at a time, oh, I can handle that easily enough. And he does have his disintegrate attack, it looks like, still. I didn't mean to hit you, man. Ugh, can I rest until he healed? Yes, I can. There's quite a few of them. Okay, this one I'll try and open. It's 60 instead of 50. Maybe it won't be shit. It, it's, it's fucking empty. It's, of course it's fucking empty. They're always fucking empty. Okay, well, let's go over here. How many more of these fuckers are there? Because I've killed like what? Eight of them or something like that? Because I'm assuming I have to kill every single one that's down here, and then the quest will be completed. Barrel. Oh, eight gold. Eight gold. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna try and open that. Um, nothing down here. Okay, so there's just that other... other pathway that goes down I haven't gone through. I'm assuming once I kill them all, the quest will be updated. Oh my god. Because I'm assuming... I'm not sure if there's like going to be like a super one of you guys, or just kill a ton of these guys. I'm assuming it's just you're the last one. Hope that's the case. Die, damn you! Is that it? I'm gonna try and fucking open that. I don't see any more. Let me try talking to you. Uh, I've agreed to fight with him. Okay. Um, I don't see. Let me look at the local map. I feel like I've explored this entire area. I don't think there are any other... Come down the path to the right. They should all be dead, is that it? Because I went down this way. I'm just going to double check. So I went down this way. I didn't find anything. I found the chest. Yeah, there's nobody down that way. Hear anything else? Any other astronauts? In here, I killed them all. There's nothing else in here. 
over here. Oh, here's one. Okay, so I didn't get one. I missed one. I should probably heal. I'm a little bit up right now. There we go. Journal's been updated. Uh, it is done. My time is over. You have done a service here today, both to me and to the people of this town. Now I may rest before I go. Take this. Uh, may you have the strength of, of will to continue on your own journey. Okay. Goodbye. Now let me rest until healed. <laughs> so that's what I was trying to do. Um, okay, so let's see. So when the last of the danger fell, he realized that his task was finally complete, and he was relieved of his undead state. Before he died, he gave me his magical ring. What's his magical ring? Fortify willpower on self. Fortify maximum magicka on. Oh, yes. I am equipping the hell out of that. Okay, it didn't give me a ton of more magicka, but it did give me a little bit more. That is definitely a ring I want. Okay, so I think we should be able to leave here now and say, hey, we defeated the guy. We actually didn't. But he's no longer a, uh, I can't even actually do that. He's no longer a Draugr. His purpose has been served. And I think that was a good uh, proof of my strength um, by destroying about like 10 fucking Frost Astronauts. So let's get the hell out of here. We're just going to ignore all of the Draugrs. Ignore you guys and let's just run up here and get the hell out. Uh, you I'm killing. You've got a Nordic claim. I want it. Because that thing's worth 7,000 gold. Like, you guys are a great way to source of money, honestly. Because of... Can you loot him? Hell yeah, look at that. Nordic Claymore. 7,200 gold. And I think it was, uh... How the fuck do we get out of here? I think it was this way. Yes. The lake's still burning. The lake is still burning. I'm just kind of stuck. Okay. Uh, let me take the bell. Uh, where'd he go? Uh, he should be over here. There he is. Alright, let's see if we've proven our strength. Um, what of Aeliship myself? You were sent to kill powerful from draw and improve your strength. Um, so he is defeated. It seems there is more to the creature than any of us have imagined. You have done well, Doros Yamatel. I, for one, would perhaps be proud to call you Skull. Return to the Skull Village, and there's a boss to tend to. Okay, before we do that, um, let's stop by Thursk, since it's literally right over here. Um, I just want to double check and make sure I didn't accidentally miss a quest over here. Because if I did, that would kind of suck. Let me just double check and just try and talk to them a little bit more. Let's see if there's anybody I kind of missed conversational topics about. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, is that a silver arrow? Eh. Uh, mine. All the wolf stuff's not really worth two. Um, mine. Mine. <laughs> I'm grabbing all this crap. Uh. So many. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna be so rich because of all this crap. Why are there. Why are they all dead? That's my one question, is why are they all dead? I don't mind because of how much crap there is all over the place that I'm looting right now. Um, ooh, Paws of the Wolf Runner. Oh, I don't want to more space. Mm, what? At least 34 pounds. I'm grabbing it. Because it's mine. It's mine, I say. 
Oh, my shield's fucked. Okay, well, um, I do have... I'm only a couple pounds over. So if I do the troll strength, and I just keep spamming that for a little bit, we can carry this. Restore magicka. Let's activate use all these. There we go. Now I can at least try and talk to you and figure out what the hell happened. Um, he came to the meat hall and killed, killed everybody. He could. There was no warning. My clan fought bravely, but they were no match. Um, I rained arrows upon the beast and finally drove him off, but he'll be back. It all happened so quickly. We were just standing there enjoying our mead in the warmth of the fire when he strung. Never have I seen a creature so savage. If I didn't know better, I'd say the monster that did this was the... Okay. Oh dear frick... Oh dear frickit? Frickite? Frick? Freak. Um, what is that thing? It is a remorseless monster with a taste for human flesh. According to the legend, it has been sealed within its lairs for centuries. The entrance is on the shore of Lake Najar, but it is covered with ice. How could he have escaped? Why now? Wait, the strange fire in the lake. You must have seen it. I do not know what sorcery caused the fell flame, but it must have melted the ice. This is true. It is free to walk the lands. Spell sword, this beast must be stopped. Okay, um, you're no strangely combat spell sword. I can see that in your eyes. Do you have the power to slay the beast? Do you have the courage? Um, soldier killers of Wolf Runner was the last chief in the Thosk. He took possession of the hall when he slew Gris the Yellow and placed his head on the pedestal. But now Spurt is dead and Thosk has no chieftain. If you kill the kill it and claim some of the battle trophy, um, you might be worthy of uh, rule over Thosk. What do you say? Will you slay it? Um, yes, I will slay it and become the chief and claim the chieftain's throne of Thrusk. Let's see. Uh, your words honor me and my fallen comrades. Uh, it makes slayer in the ice caves that run beneath Thrusk. The entrance is located on the shores of Lake Frauding. Um Just to the west of here, I'm sure you'll find the creature there licking its wounds. Uh, if you manage to slay the slay it, make sure you claim some part of the beast as a trophy. Bring the trophy back to me and I'll name you chieftain of Thrusk. For that is our way. Go now and good hunting. Okay, let's first stop by Skull Village. Um, because, Jesus, okay. Um, let me keep spamming this so I have enough strength to get to the blacksmith. I'm going to try and repair stuff and just sell a bunch of crap. Um, because uh, it's a lot of money. And I'm not leaving all this crap behind. I am not. So let's first do the stuff for Skull Village. And then I think we'll come back and slay that beast. Um, I, I guess, okay, I, I guess uh, I had to wait until the world kind of caught up and uh, events occurred, but now we got something to do there. Okay, so thankfully I have enough time to get to the smith. Where is he? There you are. I need to talk to you, man. Okay, so first repair. It's all my stuff to beat to hell. Okay, and then barter. You've now got 6,000 gold. Which is perfect because I have a ton of crap to sell you. Like, quite literally, I can just sell all that and get pretty much all my money back. Um, is there anything I can actually buy from you? Let me buy this from you and this. To try and. Uh, I guess we'll just do max sale. There we go. It's good enough. Get most of my money back. And then, okay. Let me first. Recoil my shield. I'll have to sell the other stuff at Fort Falsma. But no, let me just talk to the guys right here about what I have completed and then see if they have anything else for me. I don't think I'm actually going to be done for this video since it's been a little bit longer than normal. You returned from the lake. You continue to surprise me, little Simito. I have matters to attend to now. We will speak again soon, that I promise you. Okay. Uh, do I have to wait a few days? Uh, creatures are attacking the Skull Village. I should go outside and help defend these people. Okay, I guess. Uh, please, you must help the villagers under attack by werewolves. Quickly, you must go outside. Okay. You told me about that before I actually... Holy shit. Oh god. Oh god. What the fuck? Okay, um... This is uh, a lot more than I expected. Uh, where's my fireball? You guys are pretty fucking beefy. 
Okay, now that he's got one, I can focus one down at a time. He's just with multiple like that. That could have been bad. Okay, you guys actually held fairly well on your own, honestly. You guys didn't need my help much, honestly. Let's dispose of all the corpses. God damn. I don't know where I mean, I was hoping they'd actually have something on them. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Please tell me Otto saved at that door. Oh, that should have healed up before I entered back in. Where is it now? Oh, fuck me. Okay, now we're finally back to this part. Uh, quick save so I don't have to try and get back to here. Uh, let's go back in here. And, oh, I'm kind of stuck in the door. Please don't murder me. Oh, you guys are... Okay, one of you at a time! Kill this one. Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, that's bad to go. I need health. Up. Maybe I should actually like switch to the silver swords of these skull, because that might help kill these guys a little faster than gold brand. Okay. Is there anybody else? Oh, he's dead. Oh, that's skull honor guard. So what's the journal say? So the attacking fans being werewolves inside the Great Hill have been defeated. The skull guard that was inside is dead. He's nowhere to be found. Okay. Um, well, I'm obviously going to be using this as a time to loot that shit, because... Oh, yes. I can't move. <laughs> I can. Troll strength. This is a, a great use of my magic, is just to make sure that I can steal all this crap. Um... Enough magic up for all of this. It's just, oh my god, it's so tempting to just grab it all. That's gonna be up here, right? No, I do not. Okay. But. Hmm. Well, let me head outside at least. Hello! I've just only arrived, and to this horror, it's good that you're here to protect these people. Uh, you've done well by the skull. My worst fears have been realized, Rosanna These creatures are werewolves, as you surely know. This is not a good omen for our village, and I have some troubling news. I've used my magic to detect any of the infection these beasts have leave in their wake. You, my friend, have been infected. Oh, yay! Um, the infection seems innocent enough, some weakness perhaps, sometimes the greatest. The effects are hardly noticeable. However, in three days' time, the victim will become a werewolf himself. It is a fate I would not wish upon my greatest foe. During these three days, though, a simple cure disease spell can stop the infection. I beg you to do this. Until then, I fear I cannot allow you to be part of the our community, perhaps infecting others. When you have been cured, I will... Okay, um... Saints of Infamous. Yes, um... Where's my... I will cure myself literally in front of you. Uh, I'm no longer infected. Uh, I no longer sense the infection to you. I'm happy for you and for the skull as well. You've proven to be a valuable member of this community. You've been true to our people in the skull. Uh, and the skull name you Blood Skull, a blood friend of our people. You'll be given a home here, a rig motor happens from a residence in which you may rest. Um, also, it has been decided that you will take part in the Ristag, an important skull ceremony. Ooh. Ceremony, blessing, and cleansing that we, Skull, perform only very rarely. These are frightening times, my friend. There have been ominous portents, and they concern the uh, heart fang is missing. I fear that the Allmaker does not breathe freely on the Skull this day. Ceremony must be completed, but first I will need you to retrieve the Totem of Claw and Fang. It's a powerful artifact, very sacred to the Skull people. It is used to call to us powerful beasts that used in the Ristag. It is stolen many years ago, and we of the Skull were foolish enough to believe it would not be uh, not be needed. Um, I have learned that it may be found in the tombs of Skalara, um, to the east and a bit south of here. Please return the totem. 
Okay, we're gonna have that be to next video. Um, now this is my house, so I'm going to use this as a time, if I can find a thing to store crap in. Uh, are there no... I see no just random places to put items in. But for the moment, at least, I can just kind of drop off a bunch of this stuff so I can actually keep moving. Primarily the armor. Because if I'm in the Skull Village, then let me just drop all of this. Drop all the armor, at least. Because then I can just keep selling it to the blacksmith when he's got money. Because this is worth a lot of money. Because there we go. We can just leave this all here, because this is now my house. But I'm going to end this video for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to support my channel. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.